Hi, this is River and he is a brand new client today. He is a one-year-old Springer span or, uh, yeah, Springer Spaniel and um, he came to me today because he gets his name honestly. He lives on the river. The Mississippi River is a couple blocks from our house and he lives in a cabin down there. So he loves to go in the river and he is stinky stinky and had mats between his toes and mats behind his ears which I did uh, want to remove before I got him in the tub because I didn't want to shave it. It just makes it worse as we all know and I want his feet to stay pretty. So he is uh, going to be a breeder dog. Um, he's getting ready to have his first date here in a few months and um, these breeders are wonderful and they take really good care of their um, dogs and so uh, this is my first time to get to breed or to get to uh, groom him and um, he's doing really well. He came in, I'm super excited and they said good luck and you know he has been a real gem. So we'll see how he does. Um, you know this is his first time and boy does he ever smell. Get him wet and he smells ten times worse. As you know um, our river is full of lots of things including a lot of bacteria so it's important that he gets a good scrubbing and make sure that no infections are getting to go. Several of my clients have a lot of trouble with that that either vacation or live down on the river and um, there's a nice big mat right there and it is full of cockleburs but they uh, tend to get skin infections and with the help of some antibiotic and my yummy puppy bath brush we always seem to cure it. Now I have already pre-mixed some B3 which I love and I'm going to start at his head. The brush is so accurate that you can literally stay buddy. Good boy get around things without getting it in his eyes. So this is how you do a head. Good boy, you are being so good. Yes, you are. And without getting it in his eyes, I was able to get his face super clean. He's doing amazing for a first timer. You'd think he would be all over the place, but I think they actually enjoy it. So I'm going to do his ears. We're going to keep all of his pretty furnishings because we want him to look like the show dog he could be. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to his front. And as you see, I'm going to have instant lather, instant lather, and it is scrubbing his skin clean so the air can get to it, and it just makes your shampoo go so much farther, so much farther. It gets in between his legs. And as you can see, we're going to go in for feet now. His feet are dirty. They're not horrible, but they are dirty. And I am able to scrub those toes clean. And the backs of his hocks. All up in the important areas. Good boy. Just yes, you are. Good boy. River, you're being a doll. Let's see, see if you can see underneath of here. Can you get up underneath of there? Angle the camera, thanks. See, get right up in all the important areas and get that icky dirty Mississippi mud out. I see you, I know. Get that Mississippi mud out of there. It is full of yucky things that you shouldn't be on the skin. As you see, my shampoo just keeps going and 
keeps going because this brush really distributes. Okay, I'm going to turn him around and we're going to do the other side. I'm going to add a little bit more of the diluted B3 and keep on going. See, it really, you might want to get on the other side of me. It really gets into the armpits. As you see, I'm using hardly any pressure at all. You just, you know, put your hands where it goes in the little grooves, put your finger in the hole, and you just guide it wherever you want it to be. I'm using hardly any pressure at all, just letting the bristles do the work. It just so exfoliates their skin. As you can see again, filthy, dirty foot. Good boy. Good boy. I know. And hardly any pressure at all. Just letting the brush do the work. All right. Here's his big private areas. As you know, you've got to be gentle. Hardly any pressure. He's sitting down. He's okay. So, there you have it. That is how you bathe a Springer with a yuppy puppy bath brush. Now, I'm going to show you really quick how fast he rinses off because. I've distributed the shampoo right down to his skin all over. You're not going to have thick pockets of shampoo back on it in his body as when you get him back up on the finish table. Makes all the difference in the world. I want to go back over his ears a little bit more maybe. There you go. Good boy, yes you are. And that is it. Super quick rinse. Okay, bud. I know. They say I know. Here, they say. Good boy, yes you are. It's not like you're not used to water on his terms, though. He's done an amazing job for a first-timer, haven't you? Yes, you are. Okay. I've gotten those mats, if you can see. As clean as I can get them, I can see the cockleburr itself now, so that'll come out pretty easy. And we won't be taking any chunks out of him today. So, yeah! All right, thank you very much for watching.